Welcome back to Virginia This Morning. Well, Father's Day is a week from Sunday, and maybe a day out fishing with Dad would make for a perfect Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, grab your rod and reel. We're going catfishing. Scott Cannon is here to teach us how to catch the big ones. Um, Hi, you Scott. got something in a bag here, Scott. Said, that's not a catfish. <laughs> no, that's a, a gizzard shad. Uh, a gizzard shad. Yep, they're the main uh, bait fish in the river. That's what... Uh, it's the catfish the feel. Yeah. <laughs> so you would cut that up and, and yeah, we cut that up bait. into uh, maybe two to four pieces, uh, depending on the time of year and what size fish you're trying to catch. And and that now would if be you it. don't cut that up, could you catch a big catfish with that? Yes, you could. <laughs> That's a big fish to catch. Uh, all right, now let's talk about the uh, catfish. We're talking the James River here, and Cheryl and I were talking at the uh, beginning of the show that my dad took me fishing for catfish on the James River when I was a little boy, and I just assumed they weren't out there anymore, but apparently they are. Yes, they are. They're, they're and very big. Very big. Now, you caught a record-sized one out there not too long ago, didn't you? I, I've caught uh, plenty of big ones. I haven't caught anything that's broken any records, uh -huh. but um, we've caught some pretty big ones. What's how big is pretty big, yeah. Uh, the biggest uh, we've caught is 65 pounds. So how big would a 65-pound catfish be? This big? This big? Uh, its its head would be about that big around. Oh, my goodness. The size of a dog, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not a cat. Uh, when, when you um, are fishing for a catfish that big, you've got a pretty heavy-duty rod and reel set up here. Tell us about that. Uh, this is a seven foot rod. It's a uh, medium heavy. It's uh, the kind of rod you'd use for probably saltwater fishing. Uh, the same kind of reel, saltwater quality reels, big reels that hold about, uh, you know, close to 300 yards of these 30 pound line. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that, that can handle just about anything out there. Some people even go up to maybe 50 pound line depending on where you're fishing and how big you think you're going to catch that day. Yeah. Okay. So what's the best way to get out there? Are we going to fish off the shore, off a bridge, in a boat? You're pretty limited from the shore. There's not much uh, shore access on the river. Uh -huh. um, you pretty much have to have a boat to, to really have a chance at the big ones. So once you're out in the river, um, what are the, where are the spots? I'm, I know you're not going to tell us your favorite <laughs> spot, your secret spot. But uh, uh, typically, where you can do you catch them. Go? You can catch them anywhere from the city of Richmond, I mean, right downtown where 95 crosses the river, all the way down to a little bit past where the Chickahominy and the James meet. And and the key spots in there are, are just, you know, channel edges. Um, where it where, drops off? Right, where you have, like, you'll have your channels that the main big ships follow, right. and there's always a drop off there. Now, do you want to be in the deep part or up on the... You want to be right on the edge. On the, the fish edge. will hang up in the edge, and if you can find a tree that's gotten hung up on the edge, or a big rock, or a ship that's sunk, or... Or whatever. You see that with your depth finder. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes you can even try to find the fish with the depth finder. Okay. Now, I've never been fishing before, so when you're fishing for catfish, you're out in your boat, do you just sit there, or you just kind of kind of trawl along, or how are you going to try uh, to catch you, you try to anchor up and and fish back towards the structure, because you got the water flowing, so you'd get up current from the structure, pitch your baits back to it. Mm -hmm. um, and we usually sit there between 30 minutes to an hour. And, we'll, and then, we'll, then we'll move along to another spot if we haven't gotten anything. Here's something I don't, you mentioned in uh, your notes. Oh, look at that. Us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was from Monday, that was Monday did, did night. Did you catch the fish? Or you did caught that catch, Monday night? Yeah, she did. She oh, caught she that did? Monday night. Did they fish catch her? <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. What is a circle hook? Because I don't know what that is. Let's see. We can look at one right here. <laughs> I'm still amazed at that big fish. Yeah, that's, that's so that was a catfish. Uh -huh. Okay, we got a couple. That, that fish was uh, 33 pounds. So and you caught, caught one twice that twice big. Twice that okay. size. Okay, well, right. this Show is a circle hook. hook. This is a circle hook here. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's a circle hook because the end here is bent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it, they, they invented these, I guess, for catch or release fishermen. And it's, it's so that the fish, the hook will pull to the corner of the fish's mouth. They have mm -hmm. a fatty area right here, to kind of just like just like our cheeks, mm -hmm. and it makes the the hook pull to that corner, and it sets in there, and it causes less damage to the fish. There's a much less of a chance that the fish is going to swallow the hook, and and you're going to hurt the fish. All right, we got another photograph here to take. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is in the James River. That's in the James River. That fish I'm not was swimming in there again. <laughs> that fish was 38 pounds. 38. Wow, and we've got one more shot. Look at that. And that fish was uh, 51 pounds. That's my grandfather. That was his very first catfish was 51 pounds. Wow. 51 pounds. And, and this is the kind of bait you were using? Mm -hmm. that yeah, day? you're using this. Now, when you catch everything. Thing, do you eat these fish? No. We, everything we catch, we put back. <laughs> so they, okay. you, you catch them right and, and on our And on our guided trips, everything that we catch, it's required that they put it back. Okay. okay. I was going to say a fish that big. I don't know if... 
The state allows you to keep you one. You can name it. <laughs> the state will allow you to keep one trophy size fish, but we don't allow you to keep any okay. trophy size fish. All right, fish. you're from Big Cat Thanks, Guide Scott. Service, Scott Cannon. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much. All right, maybe take that fishing for fish father's day. I don't know if I want to fish that big. Right now, <laughs> let's see about the ones that got away. Julie's got our news stories for us.